OK, we'll look at the curve here where um, we're operating in severe winter conditions and we're going to suffer non-symmetrical ice accretion on decks and superstructure. And we have to draw the curve to describe what actually happens to our stability. Well, it's non-symmetrical, therefore the ice could well be all on one side, uh, which will introduce an angle of list. The vessel will be listed. So we need to introduce a healing arm curve onto the GZ curve. The other important point to realise here, of course, is that we've added weight onto the deck with the ice. And as we know, our centre of gravity moves towards a loaded weight. So if we've added ice onto the deck, G will move higher up, which reduces the GM of the vessel. So our GM is going to reduce, and we're also going to have to introduce a healing arm curve. So if we look at our curve here, there's the GZ values on the y-axis angle of heel along here. That's the reduction in the GM due to the vertical shift. So there's our original curve here. That's the, the original curve. The GM is reduced, so now that's the new curve there. There's our new curve. Okay. So all this in here, all this value, all these dots in this area here, they are a loss stability due to the vertical shift of the centre of gravity, in other words, the reduction in the GM. So that's the original GZ curve, now this is the new GZ curve. Then we have to introduce our healing arm due to the transverse shift. So we draw a healing arm going right across and therefore everything underneath here is lost stability due to the transverse shift. So we've got lost dynamic stability here due to the vertical shift. Then we've got lost stability dynamic stability due to the transverse shift. So what remains is the white area here, and that's the dynamic stability that remains. So we've lost all the stability, all the dots represent stability that we've lost. Because if you like, it's a double blow, the GM is reduced, and a healing arm curve is introduced due to the transverse shift. So we've two lots of stability that we've lost. So, as it says here, the result is a reduced GM, reduced maximum GZ, reduced angle of vanishing stability, and greatly reduced range of stability, and of course, greatly reduced dynamic stability. So, when we have ice accretion on deck, you must remember the two important factors. GM is reduced, it's non-symmetrical, therefore, you're going to have an angle of list. So you have a double, if you like, two lots of lost dynamic stability to show on the GZ curve. And when you label it, make sure that you show the examiner that you understand how you've lost the various values on the, the GZ curve.